This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in Millennium Falcon. That's not relevant. This is my new studio with a new LED bar. I can show you how it's funny. You see? But with a LED bar. <laughs> That's why I got a lead bar. But okay, anyway, so this, this is uh, totally off topic. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the charging session of the Kia EV6 versus Ionic 5. And actually, pretty much versus all the other cars we had in the Ionic 5 video. So let's just roll the tape. Um, all right, you see, we start with 10% of all of them. And uh, I'm now going to try to highlight the state of chargers. All these cars are charging blistering fast. Uh, well, three, for example, 250 kilowatt on the other ones. A little bit slow. I think the, yeah, the, the, the Korean cars are a little bit slow off the line. It seems like they are cold getting a little bit, but then uh, the, the EV6 needs to hit 25 degrees Celsius. That's the magic number when it um, starts rocketing on the speed there. Uh, we're going to wait for it, wait for it. E-tron GT is charging like a boss, the highest peak power, 250, uh, 260. Now it's starting. Okay. Now EV6 finally hit the, the 25 uh, degrees, and you see that uh, kilowatt is then rocking up as uh, it seems like a number of amps seems to be around 305. So that means that when the voltage goes up, then it's going to get even more power. Uh, as for the other cars, uh, E-tron is kind of going kind of slow, and then the Model 3 is starts throttling a little bit because it didn't have that nice and flat charging curve, but it had just a very insane peak power in the beginning. Uh, right now, actually, the e-tron, e e I'm not sure if the e-tron is or the Ionic 5 is uh, fastest, but you see now that it's going to throttle. Uh, you go back to the EV6, it's going to throttle, but we see the peak power of 233 kilowatt. That is just insane. No, no, actually, 233 kilowatt, but then it throttles because the state of charge is too high, but the battery is nice and warm. This is a perfect. You don't want to be, have the battery warmer. You might be asking, hey, why didn't you heat it up much? No, but you shouldn't heat it up too much because the car will actually slightly uh, replicate towards the end. I'm going to show you soon. But at least now, you see that even at 60%, we are taking 170 kilowatt. Compare that to the Model 3, which is um, actually a similar size battery, but it takes the way slower, cheap speed. So right now, it could look, look like Ionic 5 is leading with 70.5. Yeah, it's leading over freaking e-tron even. <laughs> e-tron costs two times more. And the Ionic 5 is charging like a boss, but the EV6 is right behind it. It's just neck and neck. Because, but remember, the EV6 has slightly small, uh, slightly bigger battery than the Ionic 5. So it's not uh, too uh, too fair there. But then right now, look at the e-tron. E-tron is kind of following behind, but e-tron is down, starting to pick up speed. And e-tron charges very nice and flat. Now we're going to see uh, Model 3 also starts slowing down a little bit. And then e-tron GT is right behind the Ionic Ionic 5, but let's see at 82%. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Ionic 5, Ionic 5 is down, it's down, it's not charging. Oh, even 6, same thing. This is a Korean part, the Korean Siesta at 81, 82%. Those cars they just stopped charging. Etron GT is now gaining, but it's charging only at 64 kilowatt. That's kind of slow compared to the other cars. Like e Fat Etron is charging like a boss now, 136 kilowatt. Etron is like, is coming, is coming, Helga. Whoa, oh, the, the, the Koreans are up and running again. Look at that speed, 133 kilowatt. On the EV6 at 84 84%. That is just insane compared to the Etron GT is down to 40 kilowatt. Huh? Huh? German engineering versus Korean engineering. Look at the look. Wait, 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 wait. What, is, what the heck is gonna happen now? Ionic 5 seems to be able to win the match to 90%. We're gonna race against 9%. There is no chance that the other cars can take Ionic 5 won it to 90%. Wait, wait, wait. Etron GT. Ha, wait, wait, wait. The, EV6 is going to take the second place. There, 90%. What? At, it's 40 kilowatt. Etron GT is going to be the third, right? Wait, wait, wait. This is so even. Tesla is catching up. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Etron is catching up. Which car is going to be the third now? This is so exciting. Is it going to be Model 3 or is it going to be Etron GT? Or is it going to be Model 3? Uh, e fat Etron took the third place. This is amazing. What about Etron? Okay, Etron was the fourth, and then Tesla will be the, th the fifth. The Tesla is the slowest to uh, to ninety percent. But that, uh, the race is not over. Let's go a little bonus run. Who's gonna hit hundred percent first? Then Ionic Five is already at ninety five percent. Has a massive lead. But you see now it's taking. It's starting to take the toll. It's going slower for the Korean cars. But look at the Etron GT now. Oh wait, wait, wait. Etron GT is also struggling a little bit. But e Fat Etron, on the other hand, is taking sixty three kilo at 96%. It has a nice top buffer, of course, but this is the old version. The new version has uh, 86 kilowatt hours, so that, that maybe that one wouldn't charge to 100%, but with, <laughs> Ionic 5 is at 97%. Oh no, oh no, Etron is the... Ah, ha, ha, wait a minute, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm 99%. Etron T, uh, is, is a fat Etron is going to do it. Wait, Ionic 5 is right behind it. EV6 is also right behind it. No. 
fat e-tron got to 100% first. Oh, but then right now, okay. Is it going to be Ionic or is it going to be EV6 now going to 100%? Uh, Ionic 5 has a slight advantage here. It's 0.5% in front of EV6. This is going so even. <laughs> but it seems like, uh, okay, there is no way now. Ionic 5 is going to take second place to 100% bonus rates. But this, this is just neck and neck right now. Which is there, there, and then just seconds after uh, ev6 will be at 100 percent wow this is amazing okay fat e-tron took the first place but the two koreans they both take the second place huh and then well this a bit that would be yeah or take the second and third and then e-tron gt will be third uh, uh fourth i mean or yeah but then i didn't do the okay uh, it's over I didn't go with the Tesla to 100%. Maybe I should have done that also to, to um, see. But, you know, Tesla, they tend to go slow to 100%. So, uh, nothing to see, nothing to see. But what you guys want to see is that I could be a good race uh, horse race commentator or um, a livestock uh, auctioneer. <laughs> no, but uh, that was impressive how fast the EV6 charged. It char actually charges a little bit faster than Ionic 5. What I heard, Ionic 5 will also get this battery upgrade. But you guys also saw on spec, the EV6 is supposed to have 5 kilowatt hour more than the, the Ionic 5. But when I measure it in the actual range test and I actually measure how much energy we can get out of this, I also measure it again during 1000 km challenge i could only get 32.5 kilowatt hour roughly versus around uh no sorry 72.5 kilowatt hour versus 70.5 kilowatt hour in the ionic 5 so there was actually only two kilowatt hour difference i i don't know why why it's like that it's white niche so but now as you guys have seen it um overall though uh, ev6 charges like a boss and what um what i didn't show you here is that um, the ev6 also uh, doesn't really cold get that much even if the battery is cold you still charge like a boss but one thing i would want to see is that the ev6 uh, or uh, ev6 or ionic 5 the charging curves or the charging goes in step of five degrees celsius so every time you reach a five degree um, threshold it will then go faster instead of just increasing it as the temperature goes up because that will actually increase the temperature faster rather than having to wait for a break point because every time you get a break point you will then get a jolt of higher charging power and higher charging power means more heat loss and then uh, more uh, more heat up of the battery yeah so much for the 800 volt architecture right <laughs> no, but um yeah, I, I could talk a lot about uh, this uh, these batteries, but okay, now you guys have seen it. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.